Happy Friday morning, everybody. I hope the audio quality will be okay in this video as I'm driving and the, the camera is just a little bit further away from me and I'm gonna try to speak loud enough so it will be clear and hopefully well worth your time. I wanted to talk about a couple of things that are very inspiring and interesting to me. Uh, one of these things is weather which is something that I've loved since I was five years old, and this is my, um, my field of study, research. And the other field is recognizing what is happening in the world and trying to properly understand things in context, which I think we're in it, thankfully. Now, uh, I wanted to talk about a verse that is from the book of Isaiah. It is chapter 24, verse 23, and if you have the text in front of you, you can verify what it says there. I just want to talk about one particular line in it that I think is very significant. One line that Isaiah says, I believe this is a prophecy of the end of days, is that uh, at the time when things are going to be happening in the world that are leading to what we are hopefully looking forward to, God says through the prophet Isaiah, that uh, the sun will be ashamed. Actually, he says that the moon will be put to shame and the sun will be abased, but there's different translations. I understand it to mean that something will happen to cause the sun to go through, the Hebrew it says something like busha, embarrassment, shame. Now, from a meteorological perspective, we know that the sun plays a pivotal role in the weather on Earth. From a climate perspective, the sun plays a central role in the climate patterns of the world. And there are phases that the sun goes through. It's called a solar cycle. About every 11 years or so, it goes through a maximal and a minimal phase. When it maxes out, it, it uh, hits a top of the chart when the energy is sent to the world that is higher. And when it goes through a minimal phase, it has a minimum amount of energy. And these are fluctuations. You can Google it and look at the charts for yourself. They are sunspot and solar cycles. Why am I saying this right now? Because our research in climate science suggests that whenever the sun goes through prolonged episodes of either intense or minimal solar activity, the world weather and climate is affected accordingly. Uh, one of these uh, points that occurred about 400 years ago was called a, um, a, a very significant uh, solar cycle sunspot minimum or the Maunder minimum and that corresponded to a period on earth history when there was what we call a little ice age where things got very cold there was a lot of significant effects that occurred uh, over a multi-year multi-decadal period across uh, many parts of the world and right now as it so happens to be the sun is going through a significant reduction phase or a solar minimum we have been seeing a trend over the last about close to 40 years of a consistent decrease in solar activity and right now 2019 we are looking at the potential to see the lowest solar cycle in about 200 years and if this continues the way it has been headed there's speculation that we may be entering a grand solar minimum you can google this if you wanted to find more information on it as well it's called the grand solar minimum now this is speculation but I want you to bear with me on why I think this is significant. Because the Isaiah says one of the times, one of the signs of the times will be that the sun will be abased, will be put to shame, and that this is going to be a pivotal point in the cosmic history of Earth, past, present, to the future. And we see what's happening in the world around us right now. You don't need to be a genius to figure out. There's a lot of tumult everywhere. Uh, the information reaching people uh, is sometimes the complete opposite of what's actually happening. And, and this is also a sign, you go back to the prophecy, of, of untruth and lies being prevalent. But as we hear many times from our mentor, Rav Dror, that the truth will sprout from the ground. And this is why it's so important to be a truth seeker and to be willing to expose the truth of the reality of the world and of what is behind the scenes because this is what is going to win in the end of the day and it will spread hopefully surely slowly but surely and hopefully not so slowly with with due time and as we go through this solar minimum that we are experiencing right now in 2019 and the possibility of a major reduction in the sun's 
output that we may be seeing in the years ahead, once again, just speculation, this will have profound implications for our weather, for our climate. We're already seeing a global cooling of sorts taking place. I know you're probably wondering what, what am I talking about. Most people hear the opposite. Well, don't forget, most people have no clue about the actual signs. They're fed certain ideas based on the, uh, the media, academia, and organizations that have a lot of interests in spreading certain ideas and have a lot of interest in suppressing other ideas. This goes back to what we talked about a couple minutes ago. But the fact of the matter is, we have this solar minimum happening now. We have a downturn in activity from the sun emanating towards the planet. We have cooling that's already being felt in the last few years. If you live in North America, you will testify to the fact that it's not your senses fooling you. It has been getting colder. The winters have been getting more harsh. Canada has been basically an icebox for the last two months. If you live in Canada, you can testify to that. Europe as well, although it's a bit milder because there's some westerly winds happening up there. Russia, North Africa, and the list goes on and on. South America, a couple weeks ago, they had a record cold and snow in, in parts of Australia, even though it's summer starting out there. So all this stuff is, is pointing to a important event, not just in the climate, but also in the spiritual climate, which I think is where it all begins. And could it be that the sun going through, going to the solar minimum right now, is what Isaiah the prophet was referring to when he said, this is one of the signs to look out for amongst the many others that we experience currently in the world. And the question becomes, what are you doing to spread the truth of the world to spread the truth of the Creator behind the scenes and to help people be connected, be unified, be inspired with hope, with optimism, with encouragement, and not with fear, with lies, or with propaganda. May the Force be with you, and have a good Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.